Hello and welcome back. I'm Barb. This is my channel, B Rex the PR Goddess One. And here is my Glamazonian hot mess, the Beauty Horde. Today is my birthday. Well, I don't actually turn to the afternoon because that's my more precise time of birth. But here I am. This is my birthday manicure I did for myself. Today is Friday. So I did this Wednesday night at about 11. So I was moving my nail polishes out of the kitchen and my ILM top coat that I love. This is the small bottle, what I call my travel bottle. I have the big giant round one like nail techs use. And as you can tell, fell on the floor and the neck broke. So yeah, but I decided that before, um, yeah, where are you? Before it goes in the trash, I might as well put another coat of top coat on. So here we are. Ugh, this is so vile. I, I don't know. It's just, I've dropped this before, but today of all days, it had to sit here and decide to commit suicide. So while my sapukud uh Hari Karied suicided Roman Emperor hit all the tropes. Why not? Fall out of the cultural appropriation of suicide tree and hit all the branches on the way down that you know of. There we go. Just got the cat hair off the floor because you know this had to fall on the floor when I showed you. Anyway, so this color is called uh turnt up turquoise. It's supposedly a neon turquoise it looks very green in person right now in this light it looks blue it is from china glaze i had been stalking this and a bunch of other china glaze quote unquote neons and brights um on the ulta website for a while now and they all suddenly went on sale during spring home so i bought them i have a separate video up about that a little shorty but today we are letting our trim or haircut you know i i got it cut by the same girl who i love who i, I consider like family and every time she cuts it, she has the same cut, but it turns out differently because my hair is weird. It just suddenly decides what piece it wants to grow faster. So this time I seem to be growing into a mullet. I don't know if that's supposed to be because I'm 47 now or whatever. Plus, you may hear screaming and yelping in the background while I try and figure out my makeup because I am fostering a cat for 30 days, unless I can find somebody to take him off my hands. And not that I would want to pass him along, but um, it seems somebody at work had to find long-term house care taking in this this two-year-old cat because somebody's like in a rehab facility I don't know surgery accident drugs I don't know what kind of rehab I didn't ask and uh, they don't get out until the end of May and so they found a place for the dog but the cat I was told was a girl it was fixed it was gets along with other animals what I got was an unfixed two-year-old boy who thinks I'm his girlfriend and attacks all my boys in the house so my boy cat and my husband have been shredded um, this was me trying to separate them the other day. I literally had to shower with this cat in the sh bathroom with me, locked in, and with the shower door, because we had the sliding glass doors. Not that I like them. They were there. Um, I had to have it pulled back a little bit so he could put his little head like this and watch me shower. He is the cutest cat. I will probably put a little mini up of him later. His name is un unimaginatively, it is Paws. He is a white pawed tuxedo cat. And he is healthy and he is beautiful. If he were fixed, I'm sure he'd be a lot calmer. But we're going to have to set him up in the basement, the finished area of the basement with his own little realm because I cannot have him terrifying my ancient cat son because that boy is getting so nervous he's having poop accidents and that's not allowed either. So what is today going to bring me? I don't know. Am I going to sit here and do my makeup in front of you? Not really. I'm going to show you the before and then I might do a shorty after in the car when we're out doing stuff. Because today we're going to practice a word called cottywomple which is an English slang word from the middle, uh, medieval times, which means to actively travel to somewhere with no set goal in mind. So basically you're, you're being a free spirit. You're definitely going somewhere, but you don't know where it is, but that's okay. So that's what we're going to practice today. I have lots of new stuff I could be using. I got two more of the um, fetish lipsticks from Milani. These are the two I had bought recently from Target. These are two new ones I got at... Um, Ulta during spring haul and because of that I got this really cool face and eye palette free and I left it across the room and I'm not gonna go get it now I don't even know what the hell I'm wearing today the weather is unseasonably cool for the end of April here in Connecticut it's only gonna be in the low 50s uh we already went out for breakfast we did a drive-through thing we went and we did like when we were little kids hubby and I because he took the day off to spend it with me 
got McDonald's big breakfasts and we had that fun that we ordered the extra hash browns and they didn't give them to us. So we literally had first breakfast with the hash browns we discovered when we got to the house. Then I said, screw this. Hash browns were five bucks almost. We're going back. I'm bringing the receipt. We're getting our second ones. So then we ate those replacement ones that they actually had forgotten to pack because we should have had technically four hash browns. Big breakfast comes with two. We bought two extra. We paid five bucks for the extras and or almost five bucks, like four seventy something. And they didn't pack them. So I went back, I went inside, they gave us our extra hash browns and we ate them on our way home. So then by the time we got in the house to eat our breakfast, it was 11. So technically we had a hobbit morning because we had first breakfast, we had second breakfast with the second hash brown on the way home. And then we had 11sies with the big breakfast. So um, I am sitting here charging my Fitbit, trying to figure out what color greens I want to wear today. Cause you know, green is my thing, it's my favorite. And gonna determinedly have a good day. Regardless, I have a funeral to go to tomorrow morning and then I have a, a more like earth centered neo-pagan event in the afternoon and then sorry cat hair is floating around um, and now I have like bits of nail polish all over my thigh myself. It's just yeah. Um, I want to try and hit Target. I did an order that I have to go pick up and then after that I also have $25 in two different gift cards at Ulta that if I spend them today or tomorrow. I will actually end up with extra points because it's my birthday month still. So that's my hopes. Sunday, I have to be up super early and dressed up to go pick up my sister-in-law because we have to drive to the Boston metro area for a family bridal shower. And then afterwards on the way home, she wants to take me to lunch at a winery to do a tasting. Yeah, I'm driving. I'm not drinking. I'm sorry. Take mine to go. Just buy me a bottle of wine for when I get home. I have Monday off. Monday's going to be my day to just veg. I'm going to have lunch with my mom, hang out there. My husband said I can open my gifts whenever, but I'm going to do them probably after dinner tonight. And then I got to lay out clothes for the funeral because the funeral is going to be a little more formal. Maybe I'll wear black jeans just because it's black. But at the same time, it's also jeans for when I go to my hiking event because we're going to walk the labyrinth over at the Branford Chet's Pond Labyrinth in Branford, Connecticut. So you get my metro area. All right, signing out from New Haven County, Connecticut. I got to go get this on because he's in the shower. And when he's done, we're going. I think today I might try and squeeze in a trip to either Libby's or Lucibello's in New Haven and get some pasta. I mean, I'm some pastry because I already had a nice breakfast. I don't know if I want to do Mexican, Italian, or steakhouse for dinner. So I also don't know what I want to do for lunch. Oh, yeah, Monday I'll probably do my Moe's thing because I got my free burrito. But yeah. Oh, I got my DSW thing too I should try and use. So maybe I'll do that. DSW and Ulta tomorrow after the walking. Yes. Yes, we will do that. Or we'll do DSW online. We haven't decided yet. Anyway, you go have a great weekend. We made it to the weekend. And uh, I'm going to go play with duochrome eye colors and call it a friggin' day. Love you guys. Peace out. Creepy chow kiss. And just remember that you can drop a nail polish a million times with no problem. And then you drop it the wrong way once and the whole neck will snap off. So just be careful. And if your hands are kind of full, just don't fuck around. Just fucking call it a day. Now I'm putting it in the trash. I've got nail polish literally everywhere. Mental note to self, buy a new top coat because the big ball one is almost empty and that guy just died. Peace.